What's going on world? It's your homie Sensei Rip and I'm back again with another video. Today we got DJ Envy addressing the leaked phone conversation between him and Gunplay. But before we get into his response, let's do a recap of what happened so y'all can see how we got here. You talk about boss and all the boss moves you did. We reported a story three weeks ago about your guy. Your guy. Gunplay is my brother. He has the Mac in the back of the 7 Series. Mm. And that's my brother. Mm. Going we reported far. a story that Gunplay, shout out to Gunplay, friend, friend of the room. We reported a story that he had to you know, put a GoFundMe up because he was having some problems. Mm. If that's your brother, mm. you take care of your brother. No. Gunplay. Yo. Yo, Envy on the phone. Yo, Envy. Play what up, bro? What's up, man? How's everything with you? I'm blessed beyond belief, man. Everything is good, man. Why you talking crazy, man? Talk crazy about who? About me, my brother. I, what I had to do with anything, man, and, and, and my wife posting a GoFundMe, man. What that? My, my, my baby was sick, man. Was she had a heart defect, my brother? Why? Why? Why has nothing to do with cars? You know I will slap the no, shit no, out no, you, I boy. I wasn't talking about your baby. No, nah, you was envy. I slapped the envy for real. Yeah. I you envy for real. You know I slapped the shit out of you, right? For that, you know that, right? We ain't doing all that. No, 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 no. I'm no, no, no. I want to be clear. I want to be clear here. You know, I would slap the shit out of you about that, right? And then we could fight, but that's not the reason I'm saying that. See, nah, it ain't gonna be a fight. It ain't gonna be a fight. Nah, it ain't gonna be a fight. Envy, it ain't gonna be a fight, dog. If I wanted to disrespect, I wasn't. But you did. But you did. Why you? Why? Why did you bring me into that? I wasn't talking about. Why did you bring me into that, Envy? And so I'll be wrong. So I'll be wrong if, I, if I'll be wrong to handle my business then, right? But what's your business? I'm, I'm having a conversation with you. If you feel like you, I disrespected you, I'm talking to you like a man. I'm like, nah, whatever. Right. And if you feel I did, I apologize. That wasn't my intention. Well, I need a public but, apology because that my my wife, man, my wife, my that. wife, my wife is my wife is affected by that. My my brother, we sat in that hospital for twenty for twenty eight days, homie. That shit was some real shit. That shit had nothing. It ain't even about the money. You know what I'm saying? My wife is in panic mode. My wife put that up, and this is what it is, and that's how she felt that she that she wanted to. She was in panic mode. I told her to chill, but it's cool. We did a GoFundMe. That ain't nothing, my brother. So don't 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 bring my child into this, my nah, nigga. Because then we going we going we gonna be having bad blood, dog. That way, I apologize. That's what, what, what I was trying to do, and I fuck with you. So that's what I'm saying. That, that's that's what, I apologize. Thank you, my brother. Up, I will, I have no problem. Charlemagne uh, called me what last week Monday, mm -hmm. and he had gunplay on the line. It was like, "Yo, gunplay, want to talk to?" You. And at first, I was like, "No, nah, I'm not talking to anybody." Then I was like, "You know what?" Gunplay's a friend to the room. He's somebody yeah. that we know, and if he has a problem with something, let me take the call because yeah. that's what men do. Absolutely. And he was saying that uh, I pose. I talked about his wife. And his daughter. Mm. So I didn't mention his wife or child. Right. And I didn't put the information about his goal for me. He did. Mm -hmm. that, I didn't let that cat out the bag. He, yeah. he talked about it. It was something that was a story that was reported. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I didn't talk about any of that. And when Gunplay called me, because he's a friend to the room, and he was upset at first. You could tell he was upset at first. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, he's a friend. You know, like speaking to any friend that's yeah. upset. So I let him go. I let him vent. And then we had a discussion. I said, if your wife was offended, that wasn't my intent. And yeah. you apologize. And I said, that's not my intent. I apologize. Which, but, you which know, men should do. Right. But I thought it was dope because I thought it was two men having a, a problem, a disagreement, and handling it like yeah. men. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I was like, you don't see that. So the fact that we can have that discussion, mm -hmm. I thought that was dope. But then when you record a phone call... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I just thought that was I thought yeah. that was was it was chasing something else. Yeah. And mm -hmm. like I said, I didn't right. mention his wife or his child. I never right. even said what it was. I just said he put up a GoFundMe right. and I was talking about Ross helping his friends. Mm -hmm. That's where it came from. So mm -hmm. it never went to him. Exactly. And but you know, another thing that people gotta understand too, right? Mm -hmm. And this is a side note. It is against the law to record somebody's phone conversation mm -hmm. and not tell them. That is against the law. I, I, I can't stand it. I don't know why people yeah. do now, that. And I want people, I want people <laughs> yeah. to understand, right? Florida is where, where, where this happened, right? Mm -hmm. Under Florida statute 93403, mm -hmm. secretly audio recording of another individual is a third degree felony offense, punishable up to five years in prison and a fine. Mm. That is a fine. Mm. So now district attorneys from Florida have been calling me like crazy because you're not allowed to tape somebody's phone yeah. call and put it out. Yeah. Like that's you, crazy. You gotta, you oh. gotta, you gotta be smart and well. Well, let's talk about it, y'all. DJ Envy responded to the leaked conversation between him and Gunplay. Of course, according to Envy, he knew nothing about Gunplay recording that conversation. And uh, you know, 
Now, Envy Turner, he thought everything was good. They had the conversation. They went their separate ways, and he felt like they was all right. A week later, we got Gunplay releasing a video of him recording that phone conversation between him and Envy. Now, people are saying Envy is a snitch because he's saying that, uh, you know, district attorney has reached out um, to just see if Envy would, you know, possibly want to press charges against Gunplay for recording that phone conversation without his knowledge and consent. All right, that is illegal for those wondering. Yes, that's, that's the truth, okay? You hear the police in the background, Envy has already called them. So, you know, Gunplay, you, you better get your bail money together, play, because you fucked up, all right? Simple as that. Why? Because at the end of the day, you chose to record a conversation knowing that this is illegal, and you put it out there on a the public platform. Why? Because you wanted to make Envy look like a bozo. You chasing clout. And because of that, it backfired. And now you run the risk of having to do some small time, pay some fines, community service. You know how this go, man. But you, you just, you can't move this reckless and be this stupid, right? And then want to blame Envy for doing what he feels he has to do, right? For doing what he feels is best for him and his family. So it is what it is. I don't necessarily call Envy a snitch because he's not in that street life. You know what I mean? He, he's a, a citizen, a taxpaying citizen. And gunplay, on the other hand, portrays a certain image, right? Even though he's a rapper, entertainer, the point is, you know, if it was really a serious issue, you could have reached out to this man directly, one-on-one, -on -one, instead of recording the conversation and waiting to put it out there whenever you felt the need, you know what I mean, to put the video out there. I, I just, I don't understand that. You know what I mean? That's that whack 100 energy right there. And that right there cannot be trusted, in my opinion. You have every right to be upset with Envy for speaking on the situation. You're not wrong in that. It's just the fact of you recording it, then holding the video to release it just to make Envy look a certain way. And all it does is just reveals that you just chasing clout, right? That's it. Because of the back and forth with Ross and Envy and you taking up for your mind. So now you got to deal with the consequences that come with it. But y'all let me know down below. Do y'all think DJ Envy is a snitch for entertaining the thought of pressing charges against gunplay? Or do you think gunplay brought it on himself by pulling this stunt and uh, now he runs the risk of possible jail time and a fine? Let me know your thoughts down below. But that's all I got for y'all today. My name is Sensei Rip. Till next time. Peace.